some people assume they can skip primary elections. Maybe it would be better to let more informed voters call the field. This is a mistake. This June, five important San Diego decisions will be decided right there and then. Start with the race for San Diego District Attorney. Interim DA Summer Steffen will fight to keep her post against Genevieve Jones Wright, a public defender. Steffen hasn't been on the job for long, but throughout her career as a prosecutor, she's focused on combating human and sex trafficking. When we interviewed Steffen just a couple weeks ago, she brought up an interesting take on female sex workers. There is a limited number of people that can say that they are choosing this as a way to make a living and that they don't have a pimp or a trafficker that's deriving their money from that person. They're keeping um, the money and, and living, but that's a limited number. Her opponent, Jones Wright, a public defender, doesn't see it that way. You can't legislate morality. Some people voluntarily want to be sex workers, and you can't tell them that they didn't make a choice based on your own morals. You can check out the Voice of San Diego podcast to hear where each candidate stands on other important issues. There could also be a shakeup to local law enforcement. Dave Myers, a commander in the San Diego County Sheriff's Office, is challenging his boss, Bill Gore, for sheriff. The department has recently been under fire for its rise on inmate deaths in local jails. Myers said his colleagues, including Gore, have alienated him from speaking out against the scandal. Gore doesn't dispute the tension and told the San Diego Union Tribune last month that he even considered firing Myers, but thought it wouldn't look good. The Seaford County Assessor is also up for grabs. While the position doesn't usually get much attention, the countywide office evaluates property taxes and records public documents. If you dispute your tax bill, this is the guy you're disputing. This year, Matt Strabone, a local attorney, faces off against incumbent Ernest Dronenberg. In National City, residents will vote to either keep or change current term limits on elected city officials. The two ballots on the table are Measure B and Measure C. Currently, the mayor is limited to three four-year terms, but there are no limits on city council members. If passed, Measure B makes all officials subject to two four-year terms. Measure C, on the other hand, maintains existing term limits for the mayor and extends them to the city council. It would also keep any official from serving more than six lifetime terms across offices. National City Mayor Ron Morrison has served three terms. Mayors are only allowed three four-year terms, so this will be his last year in office. He thinks mayors should only get two terms, so he is supporting a ballot measure that will limit mayors to just two terms. The catch is that allows him to stay for two more terms. Morrison has come out in support of Measure B, which will reset his clock and make him eligible to run again. If Measure C passes, Morrison will be out. Another big South Bay ballot measure in June is Measure A in Chula Vista. It's billed by Mayor Mary Salas as the only way the city can keep up with its public safety needs. The measure promises voters the city would provide the following. Faster responses to 911 and medical emergency calls, increased neighborhood police patrols, reduce gang and drug-related crimes, address homelessness all in one by enacting a half-cent sales tax until voters decide otherwise. Those against Measure A say their issue isn't against public safety, but with a lack of oversight on how the money will be spent. Voters will see other issues and candidates on June's ballot, including several races for San Diego City Council, but those will continue to the November ballot.